Hi, I'm Sherry. And I'm John. And we are Amped, Amped to Glam. Glam. going to discuss the importance of getting an RV inspection. An RV inspection. An RV inspection. It doesn't matter if you're buying new or used. You're going to need an inspection. So let's get started. In our last episode, we shared how as empty nesters, we are on our journey to purchase an RV and start traveling. Well, we've got some good news. Our RV is finally here. Woohoo! Yes! It's so easy to get caught up in the excitement, but there's still many things that need to be done, such as finding storage. And buying stuff. Where did you go? <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. But we're gonna need it. Oh, boy. And getting an inspection. I'm glad you said that again. No. <laughs> Our inspector from Eagle RV was kind enough to go on camera with John for an interview. So take a look. Hi, it's John from Amped Glam, and I'm here with Ed Leonard from Eagle RV. Uh, we just bought a 2021 a Fleetwood Bounder Anniversary Edition, and he was here to do the inspection. So, Ed, what is it Eagle RV does? We do a pre-delivery inspection. Um, we go top to bottom, front to back, we cover all the systems, we're certified by uh, NRVIA, which is a national organization that trains us to do uh, pre-delivery inspections to a certain standard um, and help the consumer out so that you know what you've got prior to the sale. Okay. It, it gives you buying power, it gives you more leverage with dealerships and private owners to get it done and problems fixed prior to purchase. Okay, so this is a brand new RV. I know most people know that you get used RVs inspected. So why would you recommend also getting new RVs inspected? Um, we'll take your, your coach. We found about nine different things, nothing super major, but things that down the road could cause you problems that, probably, that need to be looked at and addressed prior to you buying, driving it off the lot. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. We found several things here. What's your area of operation? I cover southeastern Virginia from uh, Richmond, Ashland, east of 95, all the way down to the North Carolina line. Okay, that's a pretty big range. Right. And also, if people want to contact you, how would they get in touch with you? There a couple different ways. One, um, they contact me. Uh, via phone, which that phone number is 757-346-2440. The other one is my website, which is probably easier, which is www.eaglerbllc.com. Um, and if you're not in my area and looking for an inspector, NR, www.nrbia.org will give you the national locator for inspectors. All right, and could you explain a little bit about NRVRA? The NRVIA is a National RV Inspectors Association. Um, they do all of our training, and they set the standards that we have to meet. We use most of the inspectors use the same software to do our inspections. We do FEMA inspections. Um, we've had inspectors uh, for hurricanes go out and do when they brought in the, the RVs for the different uh, setups. I remember that. Um, friend of ours down in Florida, he's been on two of them um, um, for FEMA. And they'll inspect 40, 50, 60 of them in a, in a trip to get them ready for people to live in. But we, we follow a set of standards and a code of ethics. If I do an inspection on your RV, like on your RV, right. if you call me tomorrow after you buy it and say, hey Ed, my hot water tank's not working, I will not work on it. Because our code of ethics says that we won't work on it for a year. This way it doesn't put us in a bind. I don't go out looking for things for me to make more money to fix them. 
Okay, I understand. All right. Oh. All right. Well, thanks for coming out. Thanks for looking at our RV. And, Not a uh, problem. Hope to see you again. Maybe Absolutely. Some, well, maybe I don't hope to see you again because yep. that might be a bad thing. No, or on your next purchase. Oh, that's true. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Thank you. This is the report that we received from Ed at Eagle RV. Uh, the same day um, that we had our inspection, he was really, really quick with it. Usually it takes about 24 to 48 hours to generate a report. So if you do hire an inspector, it's important to be patient. They have a lot of information to compile for you, and you definitely do not want them to rush through it. So it has my property address. This is actually the RV that we purchased and the location of the RV dealership. He was very thorough. He took outside pictures of the Fleetwood Bounder, um, which we will own very soon. And he is also, as I spoke about before, NRVIA certified. He's laid things out very neatly so that it's easy for us to find the contents of the report. He broke down what he found into major issues and minor issues. Um, and he also provided a summary um, of, of the report. I'm going to scroll down to look at some of the issues that he found here. And remember, this is a 2021 Fleetwood Bounder. Um, and he still found issues with it. And this is why I stress that it is so very, very important that you get an inspection, even if you have a new RV. So here was the first issue that he found. And, and, and first of all, he was up on the roof and um, found out that the, the, the caulking job that was done was just horrendous. I think his exact comment was, this looks like it was done by a five-year-old. So it's one of the things that we're um, asking the dealership to fix because you definitely don't want to have any way for water to intrude into your rig. So the front cap seal uh, was not applied well. The rear cap seal has a raised area right here. I don't know how you can see in the picture but there is a raised area here. Now, this could be for a number of different reasons. It could be that it just wasn't flat when it was applied. It also could be because there was water intrusion, which then froze. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that our RV was completed at the manufacturer back in January, but there were issues with transportation, so they weren't able to find a way to transport the rig to General RV. And then when they finally were about to transport it, they received a phone call from Ford to hold the delivery on uh, the Fleetwoods that had the Ford 50 F53 chassis. They wanted to have the opportunity to inspect them first. So it sat um, during some really bad weather. So this to us is very important. Um, and we will find out when we go to General RV this Tuesday uh, what they saw when they fixed it. And we did ask for them to provide pictures of what they saw once they removed that cap. Um, here's the next thing that they found. The screw on the bathroom skylight um, wasn't sealed. So that uh, gives you another opportunity for water intrusion. And these are things that we would not have known about if we didn't get the inspection and could possibly have found out during a very bad storm when water started leaking into the RV. Or even worse, I think, um, we could have had water intruding over time and developed something like mold. Here there was an issue. This is the slide out and this gasket or the seal uh, was, was not very well applied, so that needs to be fixed. The cooktop wasn't secured. Um, it was just sort of sitting there. He touched it and it just kind of came right out. Um, and then here, uh, these are um, 
you know, he, how he categorized them, that these were extremely, extremely important issues. I'm going to skip down here because there's some very interesting things. Um, he was concerned about the wires here on the solar after going to the Fleetwood Bounder Facebook page. Um, it was suggested that we not have these uh, permanently affixed to the top of the roof in case we should need to work on the solar panels, but instead buy something that will stick to the top that we can use, that's removable um, so that we can tie those down so they don't get caught on branches or anything like that. I think that was a really good idea. Um, the XM radio antenna was missing sealant, another water intrusion issue. This almost looks like rust to me, so I'm definitely going to check that out when we pick up the RV. He has some interesting things about the spacers on the unit. Uh, we didn't think that it was properly mounted. Um, and then, this is the cable. It's just kind of sitting there. I have no idea what it goes to, what it's supposed to attach to, but it was just sitting there on our, our roof. Um, here, the engine compartment door didn't latch properly. See here, it's it's open. Uh, I had a couple of issues with compartment doors not latching. They didn't close securely. And interesting enough, I had read on one of the Facebook sites that uh, this is an issue with the downers. I mean, other people who've had issues with their doors flying open while they were driving down the road. And wondering if this is that case and maybe we may have, may have been one of those people, I'm not sure. Another thing is our screen door had lots of scratches embedded in it. I'm not sure how a new door gets so many scratches. Some things he showed us, like for example with the bounders, you don't have a full ladder, you have a, a partial ladder and then you have to attach the other half. So he showed us um, things like that as well. And then um, he also showed us where different um, important uh, things are located like so that we have a record of it, like where the, the battery disconnect is located and things like that. So I'm going to end this here because um, I covered the important parts of the report just to show you that no matter um, how new the RV is, it's still very important to have that inspection. Next episode, we will be discussing how to find a storage facility for your RV if you're like us and you have a, an HOA that will not allow you to store your RV in your driveway or your backyard or on the side of your house. And a driveway that's too short. Yeah, that's true too. We don't want it hanging out in the street. No. And we'll also uh, discuss or uh, talk about some of the, the products that we purchased, um, how we're liking them. And if we're really lucky, the episode after that, we will show you our brand new 2021 Fleetwood Bounder 35K Anniversary Edition. We yes. are so excited. So please join us. And, and now, now, go out and enjoy, enjoy your adventure. adventure.